Now the effect I'm going to talk about now is amplify and normalize. They're pretty much the same thing. All it is doing is changing the volume of the audio. So if we take this section right here, we go to effects, amplify. What it will do, it will put in what it takes the highest point right here and bring it up to 0 dBs. So this is 0 dB at the very top and then it's about negative 72 or infinitely low here. So if I want to bring this up by 5 dBs, I would take it and enter 5 there and it will bring it up to negative 5.4 dBs. And so it is up now to negative 5.4 dBs. Go to Amplify. This setting right here is really normalizing. Normalizing takes everything. It brings the volume of everything, but it's taken to the peak. So if I want the whole thing to go up to 0 dBs, so I want this to go to 0. If I want to allow clipping, I can take it, say allow clipping, and push this way up there, and it will be all flattened out and distorted, which I don't want. I can go to Amplify again, and so now it's going to take it up to 0 dBs. A lot of times I say I want it to go to negative 3 dBs to start off. So the exact same thing is if I go into Normalize, it's doing the, the exact same thing. Go to Normalize. I want it to go to negative 3 dB. It cleans up the DC offset and things like that in here. So there's advantages of normalizing. So amplifying, you can also use it. Amplify. And if I want to bring the volume down for some reason, for that section, I can bring it down.